removing dams, restoring rivers, pioneers of our planet. Is there anything more precious than free-flowing river? American Rivers is a leader of the growing dam removal movement. Restoring rivers for the benefit of nature and people. Today there are almost 60,000 large dams around and just one third of these world's longest rivers remain free-flowing. When built in the wrong place, dams can severely impede a river's natural flow, impacting fish migrations, nutrition flow, wildlife and livelihoods. Over 1,600 dams have been removed from US rivers in the last 100 years. But just a handful in China. A very warm welcome to the channel. My name is James, the James Neal Cooper Show channel. That Today is February the 4th, weekend in February 2022. And this is what it looks like when they restore a river. They get rid of the dam. It may be harsh. It may be, at that moment in time, not environmentally friendly. But in the long run, it can look after this it can look like this. All this information I did share with you does come from the World Economic Forum and it is an eye-opener and I am glad to see that people are starting to take care of maintaining some of the old things in life or if it's beyond their life expectancy to dismantle one way or the other and rebuilding the environment. Sir David Attenborough in the UK is a leading environmentalologist or whatever biologist and quite simply he says by leaving nature alone for 20 to 25 years things will revert back to normal. Is that going to happen? The answer honestly is to be no because there's always the money involved and someone wants to make an extra quick buck somewhere in Brazil or for example Indonesia and of course a hundred percent in the People's Republic of China. Not the people, I would always say the government. A little bit of extra spondulis always comes in handy for bribing another official. It's a never and as we quoted before, if the Free Gorges Dam is not there, smaller dams on the Yangtze River would have been far more economical and far more practical, easily managed and managementable. Managementable, can I say that? I don't know, but you know what I mean, anyhow. Uh, but again, the biggest, the best, the fastest, the quickest, the highest, the tallest, etc. is a thing that China always wants to do constantly with no regards of people, impact, environment. Then they will say, oh, we'll make it better in another 20 years or the five year plan, which doesn't really exist. It's only talking the talk. Now, let's have a look at the levels because the levels today are very, very strange. In
Now we haven't done the weather for a long time so let's have a quick look at that so for the next 30 seconds or so and the hand is by the Free Gorges Dam and give it a couple of days or so you will see some snow quite a bit of snow around the Free Gorges area around the reservoir and this I can guess is not going to be at the dam but it's going to be not you could say ground level but it is going to be on the mountains you can see like 4.3 centimeters was there just a minute or second or so ago so quite a bit of snow coming towards the way which is again a little bit strange because it's February time we're sort of saying goodbye to winter and hello to the um, spring days Today is Friday the 4th of February and it is the opening ceremony of the Winter Olympics in Beijing. So I thought I'd take a look at the weather, car, weather forecast for Beijing, which is here, and guess what? No snow, none at all, nothing. The Beijing Winter Olympic Games with no snow forecast over the next couple of days at least you can see it's also taking place further north but guess what no snow or the snow is already there so the olympic games is going to be run by the artificial snow how nice is that well done beijing Good. so i thought i would lend a hand to beijing and free of charge because i'm a nice guy well, I think I'm a nice guy. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Let it snow. Okay, let's go into some of the comments for today. Uh, the first one is, when is the China flood season for the Free Gorges Dam? In China, the flood season is going to start round about April, May time. And the peak of the floods is going to be June, July, August time. And last year, it was really concentrated around the Yellow River, the north of the country. The year before that, it was central China, but and also southern China as well. It's day to day. It is by the three main rivers, which is the Yangtze River, the third largest or longest in the world, the Yellow River, the Mekong starts in China and goes through Southeast Asia, and the Pearl River, which I do believe is in sort of like the Southeast of China, but they all flow mainly from West to East. So the water transfer project from South to North is a messing once again with Mother Nature. I hope that and I do have a message from my cup supplier, my mug supplier, Donald. Where's the cup? Where's the cup? Where's the cup? Here it is. There it is. And he can ship internationally, but the prices quoted at $15 are for the United States. So if you want to contact him, please do with the email for his PayPal. It's the same thing, and he can give you a price for, for that one. But there will be additional costs if it's going from the United States to Italy, for example etc etc so i hope that helps you and the email is in the link in the description and that brings us to a close for today i hope you found the information useful and a little bit light-hearted now i have made countless mistakes on this video so at the very very end i thought i'd leave some of the outtakes for you and i think there's a little bit of swearing as well so if you're offended by swearing don't listen to it turn it off don't just stop it now 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 yeah and i will be back tomorrow hopefully um with a little bit of an update of what the opening ceremony was like if i can remember of the olympic games i'm not too sure if anyone's going to watch that today or tomorrow and i will love you and leave you with the most happiness 
happiness. You see, I just can't get my words out today. I'm going to pull my hair out. Uh, I will le love you and leave you with happy thoughts or peaceful moments in life. Be good, be well, be safe. To our for now. And this is how you get rid of a dam. It may, for the moment in time, be harmful to the environment, but for the long run. And this is how you get rid of a dam. Now, it may be harmful for the environment and that moment in time. But for the long run, it's going to be like this.